Today we'll share a touching story from Winwood Elementary. Take a look back and pack the house. And share the 10 worst dates you've been on. Right here on Talk to Talk. Good morning, Griffins. I'm Alex Erstman. And I'm Akira Oliver. Welcome to Tonka Talks. Before we get to our top story, if you're thinking about participating in tennis this year, there are still informational meetings you can attend. Meet in Tech 13 during intervention on Wednesday the 11th for details. Also, the next NHS meeting will be held on Wednesday, and members can attend either the 6.50 a.m. meeting or the 2.30 p.m. meeting in room A10. Now to our top story. A second grader at Wynwood Elementary is in the fight of his life. After seeing a Team Nick Facebook page, our crew wanted to learn more about this little superhero and what we could do to help. Zoe, Gracie, and Sally captured the heartfelt story. When you walk through the halls of Winwood Elementary School, something special seems to stick out. The powerful Team Nick logo is on every wall and in every classroom to help support a very special eight-year-old. Nick Odin is a smart and witty second grader at Winwood Elementary who has unfortunately been diagnosed with an inoperable brain tumor. When Nick's teacher, Miss Hovey, heard the news, she took action. In the fall, when we found out that my student, Nick, um, was very ill, I went to go visit him at Children's Mercy Hospital and just sitting um, on his bedside reading some books and talking with him, my mind was going a mile a minute and I said, Nick, I think we need t-shirts. We've got to get a team going. And so he and I talked and just brainstormed about what the shirts would look like. His favorite color is blue. and. Um, he loves superheroes and Superman, and that's how we kind of brainstormed that, and it just took off from there. Mrs. Hovey has started a Facebook page to help support Nick. The page has received a lot of attention, and mail for Nick has been pouring in. Nick loves mail and has received it from not only across the United States, but across the world. Even though the support has lifted Nick's spirits, his parents are doing all they can to make sure that he is comfortable. When Nick's mom and dad found out that he was sick, they did. They did just what Dr. Copeland said. They quit their job because nothing is more important than caring for your child and being with your child. Though Nick is strong, his family knows it will be a hard fight. This cancer, I hate to say it, um, and it kills me to say it, uh, the survival rate for this cancer is zero. And so we're fighting for memories. We're fighting for great days. We're fighting for exciting events. And that is why we're raising funds. We need the students of Winnetonka to rally behind Nick and his family. If you can't give money, there are many other ways to help. Whatever that means to you guys, whether it's a really cool card because you're an awesome artist, or because it's a poem because you love music and you like to rhyme and you can make a, an awesome poem to send him, or because you can rally your own Winnetonka team and raise funds for his family, whatever that job is that you can do, we will get it in the right hands. For more information on how you can support Nick Odin, please click the links below in the YouTube description. Thank you, Nick, and the staff at Winwood Elementary for sharing this story. Students and staff, the Griffin Rights newspaper February edition will come out this Thursday. Be sure to pick up your copy. Last week, fans packed the house at the annual Pack the House event. Myself, Eric, and Warren went out to get the highlights and show the school spirit of Winnetonka. February 3rd, 2015 was Winnetonka's annual Pack the House basketball event. All four basketball teams playing this event and it's usually the most spirited game for them. Kids and parents from all over Griffin territory come to support the varsity JV boys and girls team. Hey, I'm over here for you, get by. Girls fell to Belton 45 to 39 with senior Brandy Men's leading the game with 18 points. Go Tonka! Go Tonka! During the game, I thought I'd get some words from the charismatic Griffin's lair. Whatever we out here getting you to help. I want to see something crazy at the end. Get this dinner with the football player. How do you feel about the game? Hey, rock chalk, Jayhawk. It feels good. Um, we work hard in practice and try to work on our defense against their offense and see what we can do. And it's been pretty good so far. Sally, our boys, fell to Belton 45-54, but freshman Willie Majog led the Griffins in scoring with 17 points and also tied for a game-leading six rebound. I would say Pack the House was a fun event. Make sure you come next year to support the squad. Go Griffins! If you missed Pack the House, 
there are still plenty of basketball games you can go to, including Senior Night. Senior Night for Girls Basketball will be this Thursday, February 12th. Boys Basketball Senior Night is fe Friday, February 13th. Perfect plans for a no school day. Griffins, be on the lookout for a special presentation of Tonka Talks this Wednesday. WGTV will air a sports feature of senior Marquise Doherty. This will be a three-minute special highlighting one of Winnetonka's most talented athletes. Make sure you check your inbox and follow us on Twitter to get the link. In other news, International Club will be meeting in LMC tomorrow the 10th at 7 p.m. Come and meet our exchange students and learn about hosting a student or joining the International Club. Students and parents are encouraged to join the meeting. With scheduling going on, you should already be thinking about what classes you want to take. Principles of Biomedical Science may be a good choice for you. Here's a short promo created by the Project Lead the Way teachers. Love is on everyone's mind in the month of February. Valentine's Day is coming up this Saturday. You might be imagining a romantic date, but sometimes those dates don't go as planned. Kayla, Zoe, Randy, and Layla asked around and found the 10 worst dates you've ever been on. I actually went to Zona Rosa. We met there and um, these, this guy came up to us and he was trying to talk to me and my date got irritated and so they like started fighting in the middle of Zona Rosa. <laughs> it turned out to actually be one of his friends that he knew and they had planned like the whole thing out and so they're like role playing and yeah it was all there was another date after that <laughs> uh dessert or whatever and I suddenly knocked it over on her and kind of went over her face she kind of looked like a clown everybody started laughing and she was crying <laughs> We, me and this girl, run, well, it was a group of us, we went to this restaurant and she was just like acting really frantic and she got up and spilled all her Sprite on my pants so I called my dad and told him to come get me and I left. <laughs> the worst day I ever went on was probably going ice skating and falling on my back. I'm 5'10 and my date was about 5'5 and he showed up in a station wagon. It wasn't the girl's fault at all. It was entirely her father's fault. And I'm not joking, the very next thing he said was, what is your stance on abortion? And then I was like, uh, you know, uh, it's a very complicated issue. I, I really not like to get into politics right now, you know. Uh. He didn't really let me talk to anybody else. And he got kind of too possessive. I got dumped on Valentine's Day one time. The sad aspect of it is uh, that I'm not the one that did the dumping, which is sad considering the guy. Do you want to fight me, Rick? And she hands me something. She tells me she bought me a gift. It's a little keychain. About 30 minutes later, we are being accused of shop. I am being accused of shoplifting. Um, one time I thought I was going on a date with this guy and then Whenever he picked me up, his friends were there too, and so was another girl, and I thought it was a double date, but actually he was setting me up with this friend, and it was really weird. Oh. Did you say your name is Stella? Spell my Where's name. Yeah. Oh no, that's too much information. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Could you please say and spell your name? No. Not seriously, just please do it. Yeah, we have to. You know how to spell my name. Griffins, for the first time in a long time, Student Council would like to announce the Winter Dance Court. And the court members are, drum roll please, Tyler Zimmerman, Kevon Washington, Javon Anderson, and Adarius Wells. Congratulations to all four. 
Voting for your winner king will take place at the dance on Saturday, February 22nd. The dance is from 7 to 10. Tickets are $7 each and will be on sale during A lunches only. For more information, see the student announcements. Due to no school this Friday and next Monday, Tonka Talks will not have an episode next week. But don't worry, we'll be back soon. That's it for now. I'm Hakir Oliver. And I'm Alex Ersman. Enjoy your four-day weekend and thank you for watching Tonka Talks. Happy Valentine's Day. Let's go on a date, Alex. What? <laughs>